Hi everyone, this is Wofa Mustafa speaking. Welcome to our channel Nodi MNN. Today we will show you about the two types of microscope. First, the light microscope, which you use in your lab, and then second, the more advanced microscope known as the electron microscope. Before we explain in depth how these two microscopes differ, we need to know what a microscope in general allows us to do. Now if you remember earlier I spoke about objects that are so small that they aren't visible to our naked eye. Hence we use microscopes to view these very small objects. Now there are two important features that allows us to view these objects under a microscope. One is its resolution and the other is magnification. Without it there is no point in having a microscope. Now let's understand what a resolution is. A resolution is the ability of the microscope to show two closely lying objects as two different objects. Now what does this mean? Let's understand this better using a practical example. Imagine a person with an eye problem. Why do you think some of us need glasses to see while the rest of us don't? This is because some of us are unable to distinguish smaller details with the naked eye. So a higher resolution is needed in order for them to see things as clearly as us. Now if the letters A, B and C are displayed to a person with an eye problem, this is what he or she will see. As you can see the letters are not very well distinguished. Now if this person is given a glass with a higher resolution or power, he will be able to see the letters more clearly. So this is basically the same for a microscope. The higher the resolution for microscope, the better the person can view the specimen. Specimen is the object that you are viewing under the microscope. Now let's move on with what a magnification is. Magnification is the number of times an object is enlarged under a microscope. So this is pretty simple. Imagine you're looking at a picture in your phone gallery. Now you want to magnify this picture to maybe have a better look at your eye. So that's basically what a magnification is in a microscope. Now the interesting thing to remember here is that if you notice, when you magnify an image on your phone, at a point your phone stops magnifying the image. This is because your phone has a very low magnification. So this means that the higher the magnification is, the more detailed your specimen will be. Now that we understand what a magnification and a resolution is, let's understand the difference between the light and electron microscope. When you are viewing a specimen under a light microscope, the image as you can see appears to be colored. However, when the same specimen is viewed under an electron microscope, the image appears to be black and white. Why do you think this is? Because a light microscope makes use of light, which helps read the specimen as it is. Whereas, specimen viewed under an electron microscope is seen without the presence of air or light. Because electron microscope helps view specimen with the help of electrons. Now, electrons are lighter than air. So if there is air present or light, then we would be unable to view the specimen under the microscope. Which is why the specimen appears to be black and white. Just a quick reminder that specimen is the object that you are placing in the microscope to be viewed. Whereas the image is what you are seeing under the microscope. They are very different. Specimen is the actual thing and what you are seeing is the image. Now the second difference between them is that the image of the specimen that you are viewing under a light microscope can be magnified to 2000. But an electron microscope allows you to magnify the same image 50,000 times. This is like one of you have a phone called light microscope and the other an, an electron microscope. And the one who has the phone called electron microscope can magnify their pictures more. Now let's talk about the resolution. If you can see, the image of the specimen viewed under the light microscope appears to be a little blur. This is because they have a resolution of 200 nanometer only. Now if you look at the image of the electron microscope, the elements of the cell appears to be much clearer. This is because they have a better resolution than light microscope. An electron microscope has a resolution of 0.5 nanometer. This means that electron microscope allows you to see objects that are even 0.5 nanometer small. Now light microscope does not require vacuum. 
Vacuum is basically the absence of air. But an electron microscope requires vacuum since, it's, since it operates using electrons. And the electrons are lighter, th lighter than air. So we don't want the electrons to fly away. The last difference between them is that the specimen that you are viewing under a light microscope can be living or dead. But the specimen that is viewed under the electron microscope must be dead. Again, you might ask why. Now see, we need air which contains oxygen to breathe. But electron microscope works with the absence of air. So the specimen would die anyway. So a dead specimen is used to view the image under an electron microscope.